So how, what does it mean to us as engineers? See, I feel from whatever I see, because a lot of uh, the menial jobs, which junior engineers used to do, or interns used to do, <clears throat> or even senior engineers used to do, his AI is already acing it. So you absolutely don't need, you know, it's tough to say this, but yeah, it's, it will be very difficult to hire junior level or interns if AI is already there. So from a skill perspective, um, it will make uh, the market such that you have to, for entry level for, into the IT industries, uh, entry level skills for IT industry is going to significantly go higher. And you have to, be, because see, you, if you rely blindly on AI, that whatever it is generating, it's right and just go with it, which is happening now. At this point in time, you're going to fail and probably because AI, it's a lot of junk. So as an engineer, at any point in time, I maybe it will change in future, but at least at this point in time, as an engineer, you have to, as I said, you have to be accountable for every line of code that you deliver. Either you deliver yourself or you deliver through AI. The point I'm trying to make is the entry level criteria is going to go way higher <clears throat> in which for you to you know, understand what AI, you have to be capable enough to understand what AI is doing. But in the next one or two years, yeah, it will be very difficult for somebody who's not very skilled to get into not just DevOps in any industry, anything which needed low skills to execute that is those jobs are going to go away. And <clears throat> you only the people who have who are in a band, who are very highly skilled, to, who have the depth of knowledge in that their domain, they probably are still safe, but they are also not safe if they are not adapting this new technology or new way of working. You have to add these another skill, few other skills for you to be able to do your job efficiently. So that's what the impact is going to be.